going on everybody it's your host Ronnie I'm here to bring you another review on another piece of equipment that I know everybody has heard about the Nike fuel band before I get to that I want to address a few questions I'm aware I'm wearing glasses I do need them I'm blind that simple Two. yes I'm wearing a spider-man shirt I'm doing it because the Avengers comes out today three Yes, I'm aware that Spider-Man is not in the Avengers movie, but Spider-Man is still an Avenger. Now let's just get that cleared out of the way. For all of you who are not aware of what the Nike Fuel Band is, it is a nice little device that fits snugly on your wrist, like so. It's actually a watch. Boom. It tracks the amount of calories that you burn throughout the day. Yeah, the amount of steps you take. There you go. And it converts it all to Nike Fuel. Fuel. There's three different goal sets. And the three different goal sets uh, go by how active you are throughout the day. You get to set that um, when you download the software for the Nike Fuel Band. Along with the Nike Fuel Band, you get the USB charging stand, an extra clip to adjust the size, and the adjusting tool. Adjusting the fuel band to fit your wrist is actually really easy. So that's actually one of the greatest things about this. So the first thing is you take your fuel band and you find the two little holes in the back of it. See? Then you take your tool and you poke the holes to release the, metal, the silver part. And if you want to make it bigger, then you get take the piece that is given to you and you just clip it in. That makes it bigger. Then once you have that, you put the silver piece back on. And there you go. Now your fuel band is bigger. Now taking it off is just as easy. Uh, if you want to make it even smaller, then you go to the last hole and you take out the whole thing. Then you take off the little silver part, clip the silver part back onto the fuel band, and now it's smaller than what it was before. Pretty easy. See? Boom. Poke in, put it in the hole, take it out, you're good. So you got you just gotta put it in the hole, man. Just put it in the hole. And there you have it, that's how you fix it. When it comes to determining the size of the fuel band that you need, don't do what I did. Online, Nike actually has a page that you can print out that is actually that's a sizer. Fuel band size guard, bitches. And it you wrap it around your wrist, depending on what uh, what zone the arrow lands on determines your size. Don't do what I did. I thought I was slick. And instead of printing out the, the size chart, I just took a ruler, boom, and wrapped it around my wrist like so. I put it against the, com the computer screen, and I measured, and it said that my wrist size was a large. I went with that, thinking that it was flawless, and I ordered. A week later, I get my fuel band. I'm excited to try it out. I'm ready to go on the asylum, see how many calories I burn. You know what happens? Comes down all the way down to here. Ah! So I returned it and had to wait another week for my reverse band, which is a size medium. My advice is print out the sheet that Nike gives you so you can determine your actual size so you don't have to do the same shit that I did. Okay? Good. Even before doing this video, I looked on YouTube to see if there was other people doing videos and I saw this one kid talk about it. So I was like, alright, cool, let me see. The kid ended up putting a fake plastic thing on his wrist and then ended up talking shit about the Nike Fuel Band. Fuck you! The fact of the matter is, this thing is fucking awesome. He was saying stupid things like, oh, nobody would spend this much money on something so stupid. Okay. I bought it. The thing sold out in like two hours the first day it came out and then again in less than an hour when it was re-upped so what the hell are you talking about how are you gonna talk shit about something when you haven't even tried it i just feel bad for whoever went on that page 
to see a video on the Nike Fuel Band to get, you know, some feedback on it to see if it's worth it. And you have some corny little kid talking crap about it. And I only had it on for a couple of hours and I fucking love it. At school, people were asking me, yo, what the hell is that? It's a Nike Fuel Band, bitches. I know a lot of people out there, especially me. I walk a lot. I go to school in the Bronx. The boogie down Bronx. I walk a lot through the city, through Uptown. I walk to the subway station, to the bus terminal, and then I walk through town to get to my house. And on top of that, I do these beach body workouts. I'm doing the asylum right now, by the way. Not to mention that I'm hitting the weight room almost every single day on top of all the workouts that I do and the long, long, long day at school. And it would be cool to see how many calories you burn throughout those crazy ass workouts. Anyway, the kid had like a billion dislikes. <laughs> Sucks to be you right now, doesn't it? I'm here to give you guys a better review and hopefully you find it entertaining and helpful. Alright, so that's the end of this review. I know it's actually a lot different from the reviews that you guys have seen lately, but that's because I was uptight. Why not have fun with this, right? Make sure you subscribe to my channel to keep up to, to date with everything that I'm posting up. I will be continuing the asylum journey later on today. Make sure to like the video. Make sure to like the video. You see that little thumb guy right there, the little thumb button? Yeah, go ahead and click that. Thank you. Appreciate it. It's a Nike fuel band, bitches.